Got it. Nothing like an old barn to bring out the flies. But you know what? That fly that I just squashed, all its parts are still there. All of the chemicals are still there. All of the pieces are still there. And yet it's dead. Well, I hope it's dead. Why? Why did, I mean, all the parts, everything you need to make a fly is still there, smashed against the side of the barn. So why doesn't it come back alive? Because it takes more than parts and pieces to make a working, living creature, even something as simple as a fly. You know, scientists for about 100 years have spent thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of hours in million dollar laboratories all over the world trying to get chemicals to come alive. And with every single experiment, the result is always the same. Chemicals never come alive by themselves. And here's a little secret. These guys cheat. They start with chemicals that are only made inside of life. The biochemicals of life, the structure of DNA with its exact coding, the enzymes, the proteins that are biological useful never occur naturally. They're only made inside of a living cell. So scientists can't even figure out where the parts for life came from. And when they start with the parts, they never come alive. You know, this idea that life is just popping up all over the universe and you see it in every, you know, Avengers movie and Spider-Man movie and, and, and all of these scientific, science, science fiction movies and adventure films, it's science fiction. It's fantasy. It could never possibly happen. And we do experimentation and observation of science to show us that. You see, there's a law of science that was founded by Louis Pasteur when he proved life just doesn't appear out of sewage and out of garbage dumps. Life only comes from pre-existing life, which means life has to have a founder, a creator, outside of the natural processes of the universe. And that's exactly what God told us. Jesus Christ is the creator of all life. And it's only by acknowledging that that we truly start to understand why scientific observations lead us to the truth. But it's only by ignoring that reality that we can come to the wrong conclusion that somehow life pops into existence all by itself. We can know that God is the creator not in spite of all the scientific observation, but because of all of our scientific observation. It confirms life could never make itself. It has to have had a creator.